Hello and welcome to another video by FlyDFI. Today we are going to talk about the NDB chapter. We're dealing with K Bendix King KLN89 GPS unit. And uh, you look at the uh, chapters, you can turn left and right to change chapters. So when you turn your machine, wherever you end up, make sure you navigate using the big knob to have this little dash over NDB and this should read NDB page 1. NDB information has two pages only and it goes 1, 2. NDB is an old navigation technology. It's almost like a uh, AM FM radio where it broadcasts a signal in, an, in all directions and the equipment in your aircraft, if you're equipped for it, should be able to point the arrow to where that signal is coming from and allows you to actually get to that point. In our case, we're going to use the example of Loray Caverns in Virginia, and we're going to simulate uh, misspelling the uh, identifier to let you know what that looks like. So, as we go from wherever you are when you first start the machine to the NDB chapter and the uh, dash is right there. We're going to turn the cursor on and start typing. The identifier is L-U-A. But we're going to misspell that and say instead L-A-U. L-A-U, Lore, the scenario here is it's misspelled, and you know that it, something is wrong when you put the identifier in and there's nothing displayed here. That's a dead giveaway for you that uh, you entered the wrong identifier. To correct that, let's put in the right identifier, and in this case it's L U. A. Notice as soon as I put LU, it assisted me by saying, oh, you mean the caverns? And in this case, it's Lore Caverns. <clears throat> and that's exactly what I want. And I hit the cursor button to stop flashing. And I can read the information. This is Lore Cavern. And the frequency for that is 245. So you simply enter that frequency into your NDB equipment if you are so equipped in your aircraft and it the needle will start turning immediately towards where that signal is coming from. I can then look at page number two and say okay to get to the Lore Caverns NDB tower from where I am in my aircraft I can put in 253 heading to Lorraine Caverns, and it will take me 48.5 nautical miles to get there. Now, as we go back to page one, let's look at the options we have uh, to change things. Now, I can actually click this cursor and move the big button, and I can change any of these entries, or I can look up an NDB by simply entering the name of the city that's close to it. If you happen to know it, that's great and handy. If you're not, you're going to have an issue with spelling it correctly and knowing which city this database uses to get there. So I'm going to go all the way to the end of that. There's nothing else. I cannot come down to these two. So to simulate that you're going to put the stuff in, let's say, here we go. Let's say I want to go with caverns, K, I mean C, A, V, And notice it has enough info to let me know, oh, are you looking for caverns? 
and it says LUA and it says 245. Enough information so you can determine if this is the one you want. And if that is the case, you simply hit the cursor button, turn it off, say yep, and go to the next page. It'll tell you how to get there. On this page, if I hit the cursor again, I can come down without changing the identifier to this field. Simply rotate the big knob. And I have an option to display a different information here. Just because it has a greater than sign, it tells me that I can do that. As it flashes, I can go to the clear button and push that in. And it will go from 253.2. It will display to you the from radio. In this case, it's 72 from. So in your navigational situation, you can determine whether you're going to use the bearing to or the radial from to get there. Or perhaps you just want to get a confirmation of where your position is in relationship to that. Either way, in my case, I'm going to go back to from by clicking the clear button. Turn the cursor off. And that's the information I get from this page. Page 1 has the frequency for that NDB. Page 2, it tells me where I am in relationship to that NDB. And that's it for Chapter NDB. I hope you liked it. Please don't forget to uh, leave your comments, uh, like the video, and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to me and it will hip help me keep the momentum of making more videos about the Bendix King KLN 89 or 89B. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a question in the comments. and I'll be doing my best to answer those questions. And if I don't have the answer, I'll definitely point you in the right direction. Thank you so much. Hope to see you on the next video from Fly DFI. Have a good day. Thank you.